Gentlemen, by now you know that it is critical for you to look your best all the time. And that's why I practically beg you to work out, to take care of that sexy ass body of yours, to make sure that your grooming game is strong and you're dressed to impress. The only downside to looking sharp, dashing, and devastatingly handsome is that sometimes it's not always comfortable. And this is one of the biggest reasons why guys give me as to why they can't dress up. It's not comfortable, Alpha. Oh yeah? Well check this out today. I am digging deep into my style bag of tricks to go over six cool clothing comfort hacks that every guy should know. Shirts and shoes, the two biggest offenders of discomfort. Well, I've come up with three hacks for each that make them a lot more bearable and dare I say comfortable to wear. Number one, collar discomfort and irritation. I don't know if I've got like super sensitive neck skin, but I always, if I'm wearing a collared shirt all day, I get a red rash up in here. That is until I discovered a hack. Take a little bit of your favorite ball powder, right? And after you're done powdering the boys, take what's left on your hand and simply rub it on your neck. It keeps you drier, reduces the friction, and it eliminates the irritation that is caused by collars. Number two, we're talking about nipples, right? Because here's the deal. Nipples are one of the things that cause a lot of discomfort for a lot of guys. Either A, they get irritated rubbing around and you don't want to wear an undershirt. Um, the other issue is that you can see them. If you're wearing lightweight fabric, you're wearing white, and you've got dark areolas, you'll see them. Maybe you're self-conscious because your nipples have a little more poking power and prowess and they poke through your clothes and you're self-conscious, right? What do you do? The solution is band-aids. I'm serious as a heart attack, boys. Band-aids are an incredible solution to all of the nipple issues that most men face. Now, I will tell you this, that band-aids come in different shades because not all band-aids are going to work for the individual. Some band-aids are a little bit darker, some a little bit lighter. You pick the one that works for you and rock them. The third hack helps you deal with one of my biggest style pet peeves, which is muffin top. When dudes have muffin top, their shirts pull out of their pants, they tuck them in, they pull out again, they tuck them back in. It's so annoying to be constantly jamming and having to readjust yourself in order to keep your shirt tucked in and looking fresh. The solution, gentlemen, KK and J. KKJ, today's video is sponsor, and the reason I'm able to get freaky right like this in my shirt still stays tucked in. Why? You're wondering, is this some type of style voodoo? The answer is no. It's a shirt tail garter that, that has been around for hundreds of years. The military invented them, but KKJ perfected them. This is how a shirt tail garter works. One end attaches to the front of your shirt, the other to the back, and the third one to your sock. I don't know how I've lived my entire style life without a pair of shirt tail garters from KK and J. These things are ridiculous, right? They're super comfortable. Once you sort of get used to them, you don't even, to be honest, I actually enjoy wearing them because it almost is like a gentle reminder to stand up straight. You feel them a little bit, but they're not uncomfortable in any way. You sit down, not uncomfortable. These things are amazing. Hey, right there. What? Exactly. <laughs> that was a little too much, right? I, I, I get it. The deal is this, guys. They are amazing. Look at that. Look how easy it is right right there the shirt perfectly tucked and amazing it's not going anywhere i can jump i can karate kick i can spin jump low spin jump my spin jump skills are out of this world and kk and j shirt tail garters are also out of this world and something that i feel every guy should grab guys there's a link down below along with the discount code go grab a pair and while you're there check out some of the incredible suspenders i've tried other shirt tail garters before but the kk and j ones they don't pinch the leather is higher quality the straps they're just they're better made products they are made in the USA in Brooklyn actually and the owners are super great guys guys link below go grab yourself treat yourself to a pair you'll wonder how you ever survived your style life without them once you try them the fourth cool comfort hack has to do with those sweet sweet ass shoes right sometimes you find a pair of shoes you're like my god they're the greatest thing ever they're so beautiful they look super cool I could wear them with X Y and Z you put them on you're like uh, um, uh, yeah, I think, I, I think they'll break in, right? You buy them, they don't break in, they're super uncomfortable, you never wear them. The solution is sneaker inserts. Old sneaker inserts, as long as they don't stink too bad, are an amazing insert for your dress shoes. I use them literally in like 
almost every, once I discovered this, like this was my go-to because every pair of shoes I put on now, I don't have to break them in. They feel incredible. They feel like running shoes, honestly. Number five, you know how in the summer sometimes you want to wear shoes and not look like you're wearing socks, right? What do you do? Of course, you wear no-show socks. The issue is that no-show socks, they don't really cover the top of your foot. And depending on the shoes that I'm wearing, I'll still get irritation on the skin that's exposed touching the shoe. The solution, bang, antiperspirant on my feet. And for number six, I'm gonna paint a little picture. What happens, right? You get a pair of shoes, leather shoes. You put them on, and at first in the store, you're like, yo, these feel good. But then you put them on with different socks, or you start wearing them, and they feel a little bit tight, and they hurt your foot. The shoes are way too sweet to return. What are you gonna do to make them comfortable? Hair dryer. You get a bunch of socks. Maybe you get like two, three, four, like really thick socks. You put them all on one foot and then you bang, jam your foot into that shoe. It's gonna be tight, it's gonna be uncomfortable, but then you hit it with a hair dryer. Turn it on high in terms of heat and you start going over, right? Moving it along the area that is tight. And what happens, the heat actually will soften up the leather. The shoe is super tight and it starts to stretch. Do it for about a minute, remove your sock, let it cool you're good to go. Here's something for you, a little proposition. If you like this video, I wanna try something I've never tried before. Give me a thumbs up. Just hit that little button right now. If we can get to 10,000 thumbs up within 24 hours, I'm gonna give you something special. How to spin jump like a gentleman, because it's not, I've, I've mentioned it before, but I've fallen down on the job. I've been busy with stuff. But now, it happens. If you give me one of these, or not, it's cool. It's up to you.